I just finished my new exhaust and that is three inch stainless uh, 304 stainless and so I went from the headers back with the new exhaust the uh, those are mufflers there resonators and then the rest of that is stock uh, 09 2009 Shelby GT 500 pipes that go up over the axle and to the back that's one nice thing about this resto mod I can buy parts uh, for the 09 and on the chassis and so forth will interchange so these mufflers are pretty aggressive I've got two options I can flip them one way or the other and I've got them in where they're going to be the loudest um, but still not obnoxious I made a bracket here crosses for to um, hang the exhaust on I've got rubber grommets here so it shouldn't resonate through the through the car as I said these are stock um, stainless works is where I bought that from it's a really nice system and so we come to here and on the stock 09 the exhaust mufflers are in this area and with this back there's not room to put the mufflers back there so I fabricated a piece from this point back I cut it uh, basically I bought some 45s uh, pipes from, from stainless works cut it and TIG welded everything together made my own pipe so I got a joint here got another joint back here and it comes out the back and that's centered on my opening it's really solid both sides again this one does the same thing there's two there's two joints one here and one back there to eliminate the mufflers I put hangers here these are stainless hangers and so that's a nice solid exhaust it's not touching anywhere now that I got that done I just installed this panel on the back and let's show you so it's working so all my undercarriage lights LEDs are working and next I'm going to make a something to close in this area here and what I'll use I'll start with uh, I'll cut a poster board template goes around these pipes and and uh, leaves enough room so nothing's gonna rattle and then I'll make a solid piece of uh, a panel that goes across there and bolts in to this that's where I'm at so now I'm working on another panel to close in this area and you can see I took poster board and I cut around everything and then I, I actually three pieces of poster board one on each side and then one in the center and I taped taped it together I've got it held with magnets right now I've got you know just enough room around these pipes and to uh, allow so it's not touching so next I'm gonna pull this poster board out and lay it out on a piece of uh, 22 gauge sheet metal cut it and then I'll probably put some flanges around these areas so it looks nice and then eventually I'll paint it to match the body. So that's where I'm at today. Okay, so I'm uh, working away on this rear panel. As I showed you before, I made a piece of, uh, or I took a poster board and made a pattern to fill in the back. And these areas are where the exhaust go, and there's some fuel lines and etc. going through there. Frame rails here and over there. And so I took that and I transferred it to a piece of sheet metal and I cut everything out 
After I did that, I welded flanges. These flanges are coming out this direction. I'm going to use this to attach to the frame rail. That's what's going to hold this in place. Same with this side. The rest of it, I, I, I broke that first um, because it was a straight line. And then all the curved areas here, I welded a flange to it. So that just gives a nice finished edge. So I got all my flanges welded on and then the last step was to bend, uh, I, I broke this edge, put a 90 degree angle on it, ran that through the bead, bead roller and stand that up. As you can see, it's got a big curve in it. When it went through the bead roller, it stretched that edge. And you can see how it's not laying flat at all. So next I'll take a, I'll, I'll take my shrinker and I'll go along this edge and shrink it, shrink or stretch, whatever I need to do to get it laying flat. Okay, so I'm about done with this panel. Um, you can see I put a, I rolled an edge on the bottom here with my bead roller. And then that took a little bit of shrinking and stretching to straighten it back out. Um, I also rolled one right on this edge. And then the rest of them, I welded flanges on. So that finishes that off really nice. So this thing's, I, and I also put a, I put an edge on here. So when it's on the car, it looks like it's tucked in behind this. Um, and I'll show you that when I put it on the car. So that's really ready. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fit it one more time. And then I'll pull it off and epoxy and paint it to match the car. Okay, it's installed. And I just put some temporary screws in here. Put some finished ones in later. One screw in the bottom on that frame rail, but I'll screw the sides as well. Got good clearance. And on the pipes, that flange looks good. Okay, I'm gonna pull it down, epoxy it, paint it, and that thing will be done. So the last little detail I need to do here is to fill this area in and then fill in the top of the uh, fender here, below the fender I should say, and here. I drove the car just down my driveway and it's a concrete driveway but when I got back there was a, a bunch of little stones in there and a bunch of little stones down here. So. I'm gonna to have to get that closed in right away before I drive it. So I started this side. And what I did was cut a piece of some poster board, taped them together because I needed to get one continuous piece flowing down here. Then I'm gonna make a separate piece to fill in this area right here. So this one will go on um, when I'm done, I plan on cutting this edge, making it short here, and then running a piece of rubber strip so the rubber's touching the fender. I'll probably trim this back a little bit wherever I need to. I just laid it out on the back side so I know how much to trim this back. Here you can see all the stones. It's just one short little trip down the driveway. Pull that poster board out and start cutting a piece. Okay, so I've got it fit in there. Um, it's not 100% done yet, but it's getting real close. You can see I put a couple screws in here. And that flange, I've got it shrunk and stretched as I needed to roll around and form this edge. And so now I've got it hanging over here as well. 
and that'll give me some backing to support this piece. You can see you can see the rubber molding here, how that's gonna work. When I fasten that to the side, it's gonna seal that up really nice. Gives me an inch and a quarter or so space so I don't have to worry about banging on the quarter panel or on the fender there damaging that so anyway I'm gonna pull that off now and uh, start working on the other side I think I might just go ahead I think I'll just go ahead and start making this panel down here while I got it in and I'll work on the other side okay I got my bottom panel made here it's gonna bolt into the lower um, belly pan gotta trim it up just a little bit made the same thing here so that rubber molding will fit and fill that in. This piece overlaps so I'll pull it apart and epoxy it get ready to paint and that'll be done. One more side. Okay Dylan worked today and helped me get all these parts ready to spray. So I've got everything um, I sealed it, base coat, clear coat. These are all the panels for the engine. Okay. And then the other panels for under the fenders, they're done, engine bay. It's for the back behind the wheel wells. Another engine bay, pieces there. Really like this scoop, it turned out nice. Okay, so I've got my panel painted and I'm gonna uh, get ready to put it on. I forgot to explain what I did to this in the previous video, so I'll give you a summary. After I bent this to, to fit the wheel wheel or the bottom of the fender area, I rolled an edge on it, half inch edge here. And then I used the shrinker stretcher to get it to shape so it fits in my opening really nice. And as I said before, on the ends here, I'm leaving this about an inch and a quarter short of the fender. And what I've got uh, made up here is a piece of rubber that's gonna get bonded to the bottom of that flange right there. And then when that rolls over, it's gonna hit the fender. See, it's got a little lip here. Uh, that should work really well. My plan is to take some uh, weather strip and gas adhesive. I'll, I'll bond that piece to the back side of this. And I've got some uh, little aluminum tabs. And currently I'm drilling holes through here. Um, and those tabs are going to go on the back side and get pop riveted through so that'll help hold that plastic in place or i'm sorry that'll help hold that rubber in place okay so i bonded the rubber weather stripping on and i pop riveted it down there so that's ready to go i'm going to go put it in the car and you can see how it's tilted out there that's going to tuck right up against the fender it should work Sure, should work really nice. So I've let it, let it long on the ends here so I can trim it. I've got a panel that fits up under here, which I want to overlap this panel onto the bottom panel so water will drain and won't get in behind that. Okay, I've got the panels in, and you can see the rubber molding around here, how it lips, it lips out, fits really nice. way down and I put some black screws in to hold it in place and then the lower panel comes down and it screws to the belly pan here some screws in there and then I've got to trim this rubber off here yet but as you can see all the everything overlaps across the top so when water comes down it'll shed it just like here this panel goes over the top of this one 
This should keep it nice and dry and clean in there. No more, no more stones. Got the other one done too. It's all finished off really nice. So both sides done. Last panel to put in is this one that goes across the back. Okay, I just installed the back panel. And as you can see, I've got a good margin around all my pipes here. It's good and solid. Here's my air ride suspension uh, to drain, drain the tank or to fill it if the air compressor would quit. Gonna screw up here and a couple screws on the face along here. Okay, so that's that's done. Underside, I want to polish these pipes yet and polish my wheels and tire clean my tires up. And this underside chassis is all completed. I'll make sure my lights work here. Yeah, they still work. Front's all in. These panels are in. See my lights are working. This panel's in. You see the rubber here? How it overlaps. That's all closed in now. Nice and neat. Both sides are done. Okay, so next I'm gonna lower this thing down and put my hood on. Finish the engine panels under the hood, so. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching.